Let's get started. Welcome to The Sims 4 Seasons. We are starting a brand new family here. Uh, a family of one human and one doggo. We've got Ty Stardew over here. Stardew because I am sort of in a Stardew kind of mood with this thing. I think it's going to work real well. And Ty because of, because of other reasons. Uh, but Ty over here. I think he's a nice looking fella, as I was saying on that little video that I put up on YouTube. It's one of those things, I, The Sims very much like this. You sort of start putting someone together and they tell you who they are. So you got Ty over here. Uh, and as I said in the video, like, I don't, I don't see him as being a hipster at all. I think he's just like way into comfort. And there's gonna be a very sort of huga kind of vibe to everything we're gonna try to do today. Um, in, like building the house and everything like that. He's just, he just, he's sort of just all about comfort and just feeling good about himself and that sort of thing. Uh, and he does love gardening. He's got an ambition. He wants to be a freelance botanist over here. Loves the outdoors. Now I've got him as a vegetarian here. Now in my head, Ty isn't sort of an ethical vegetarian or something like that. That's not why he's a vegetarian. I think between um, the gardening that he wants to do and the fact that he is an absolute foodie, I think Ty loves the idea of being responsible for like his food right from the start, like growing it right out of the ground and then putting on on his plate. I think he likes that sort of complete cycle of things. And that's what he's looking to do is he wants to just like eat things he grew himself. And I think that that'll feel good for him to do. Uh, we're putting on the Sims Gallery at all. Yes, this is all. He's already on the Sims Gallery, actually. So if you're in the Sims, uh, my my username in in the Sims is Quill eighteen eighteen two eighteens, because I had a Quill eighteen account and it was lost to all time and I can't get it back. So I'm Quill eighteen eighteen. Uh, you can get uh, you can get him as well as a variety of other families that I put together in the past. Uh, so there you go. The the eighteen Monica Ava Breyer family over here, for example. Um, the 18 Modica family here, which uh, we've uh, we've played a fair bit before. Little things like that, so those should all be available online. Can I have chickens then? Well, I think, first of all, I don't think you can do ranching in The Sims. If you could, it might be different, but I don't think you can. Anyway, so we got him over here. We're going to go... Uh, there, are, uh, there are more outfits now, um, because there are more seasons. So... Yeah, so hot weather. Cold weather. I like this outfit. Very styling over here. We might want to put a hat on him again. I'm not entirely sure about his care haircut, but we're going to leave it be for now. And we've got our dog. We've got Joe over here. Just Joe, the mixed breed. He's a mix of Mastiff and Tibetan Mastiff. Uh, just wanted a big dog. And this is the first one I rolled up, and I love him. I think his face is super cute. I love the little spot on his nose. I think he's adorable. Uh, he's sort of going to be a chillax dog, you know, couch potato. He's in the pennant, and he doesn't need too much attention, but he is friendly. So we're going to go with that. First season of spring, we actually are going to get to choose. Let's go ahead and jump into the game over here. Now, does anyone know how to, uh, to avoid this? Every single time you do this, so I, I loaded this family in from my gallery because they were in there. But by doing this, I think it's going to create a new entry of them in the gallery. Is there a way to avoid that? Because it's really annoying. No girlfriend. Not yet. We're going to see what we do. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Double Mastiff. So much drool. So you get to choose what season to start in. I'm going to start in spring. I think that, that makes great sense from a growing point of view. Um, we're gonna do that. I do love the, the little subtle animation here. To, as, as someone who used to have like a little web design, um, <laughs> I used to you know work in web design, web development, stuff like that. These, these little things, it's just, I like that. Just the little extra details, it's quite nice. But yeah, we're gonna start in spring over here. So we might get some cold days, we might get some hot days, we might get some rainy weather, we don't know. And there is not a new town in the season's expansion here. Uh, and the, if you do have the vampire game pack, you would get another town over here as well. I actually, I wanna go back to Willow Creek. I think Willow Creek is the town that came with the base game. And I wanna go back to it. I haven't played in Willow Creek forever. And I think it'd be quite nice to go back over there. I also am quite keen on the fact that Willow Creek uh, does have these very, very cheap open terrain. We're gonna go to Bargain Bend here, I think. Um, it's only 2,000 bucks. There's Potter's Splay. 2500 and then hollow slough over here of course we can buy one of the the pre-made houses as well but i really i think i'm going to start right here i like this plot spot here it's, it's right next to a great fishing spot on the water a little bit of corner over here i'm quite pleased not in the desert <laughs> do you have all the dlc i have all the expansions and i have all the game packs other than 
uh, the Jungle Adventures and Vampires one, and I, I only have, like, one stuff pack. I don't even know why I have it. Well, it was the Kitchen Stuff stuff pack. That's probably it. I couldn't resist it, but it's not... Um, the stuff packs are really, really optional. And I have no custom content loaded. <clears throat> so, yeah, so we're going to move in over here. And then we're going to get start buying... I wish I could buy a plot of land IRL for 2000 I know, right? Obviously, like, all the all the, the dollar values are a little bit skewed here. Real estate in um, in Simsville is super cheap for some reason. I think it has to, something to do with the fact that the mayor keeps creating these, like, crazy um, on and off ramps for everything. And none of it makes any sense. Oh, it's raining right away! Well, that's interesting. That's going to have some impact on our lighting right away. We got a rainy day right from the start. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move myself a little bit here. So I'm sort of on this bar and a little smaller. Looks like I got to move one pixel up. And hopefully I won't be covering as many things. We'll, we'll, we'll see if that works out. Maybe it's because the mayor was bribed. That's why the prices are low. That is entirely possible uh, for sure. People keep dying in Simsville. That'll drop the price. Uh-huh. So yeah, so this is this is our little corner lot over here, which I think is quite nice. It'd be nice if the weather was a bit better, because this is not very pretty to look at right now. We got a fishing spot over here, and who, who knows what our neighbors will be. I mean, they're already fixed, but I don't remember what they are. You just place your picture in front of the character. Yeah, like over here. I mean, it's, it's a little like me, although way, way, way slimmer. All right, let's go into uh, design mode over here. Now, when you're in design mode, I know that you get to change the lighting. There we go. We'll put the lighting to afternoon. I don't think you can toggle the weather. But yeah, you can sort of you can sort of get an idea of different looks. We're getting some puddles over here in the road, and I'm betting we're going to get some mud packs somewhere over here. So, wait, wait, a fishing spot in a lawn? I mean, it's off our property, but yeah, we can we can go fishing over here. Now, fish are Oh, yeah, see, now when I'm in this mode, my face looks like it's floating a bit, so maybe I will go and put myself flush to the bottom. Fish are the best fertilizer in the game. Or at least, I, I'm not entirely sure if it's literally bad. I think it is the best, but as it turns out, you can use dog poop as fertilizer as well. So I think we're going to be doing that sort of thing. But again, with Ty here, I don't think he's like a vegetarian for like the sort of strong ethical reasons. So he could conceivably fish and then use that for, for fertilizer. We will see. Fish are friends, not food. Or fertilizer. That may be true, Baba. So, I think what I'm going to do... Are we going to be farming? Yeah, we're going to be farming. Well, gardening is what they refer to it here, because I guess it's a smaller scale kind of thing. Although, honestly, it's about the same scale as the farming in Stardew Valley, to be honest. I think I'm going to put a fence around the property, first of all. Because, I mean, we're going to be growing crops. Maybe we're going to want to keep certain wild critters out of there. In theory, we could um, lock the door to the fence, like lock the fence gate, so the dog can't get out of the property, uh, but, you know, without locking our front door. So the dog can still go in and out of the house whenever he wants or something like that. And I think that would be a pretty good start. Now, for fencing, first of all, I'm really confused as to why when you click on the fencing tool, it defaults to replace fence as opposed to place fence. It's like... So you're like, oh, you're all excited about putting down a fence, and it's like, what? what? Why isn't it working? Very confused as to why that's the case. Anyway, place fence over here. Oh, I believe what we'll have to do first is actually move the mailbox. I'm just going to put it in the middle for a second, so that it's not in the way of our fencing job. Uh, don't build central on the plot, then build on the side so you have room for a garden shed and a greenhouse. Absolutely agree. So I was sort of looking at this plot earlier, and I have a, I have a bit of a, I have a layout in mind. I have, I have, a, I have a plot for this plot. I have a plan for this plot over here, and it's going to involve building the house kind of over here. And I think our first plants will be over on this side, but then there's going to be lots of space over here for miscellaneous things. Now, in terms of fencing, I mean, there's like, you know, some stone fencing and hedgerows and wrought iron and things. I think I think I want a kind of a wooden fence. I'm kind of tempted. I think I'm just going to go with this baseline ladder style horizontal fencing. I'm also thinking I might leave the fence in... No, not in white. I think I'm going to go for this. Uh, to me, this looks like like natural wood, like pale wood, like not the dark wood. I don't. I think the dark would be a little too... I'm not sure. But this. So, you know, it might just be made of pine or birch or something like that. A little bit of a lighter, softer lumber. But I think that's going to be fine for fencing. So I think I'm going to start with this. And what I want to do is... And you can't build right up to the edge is I want to fence our yard up. 
And then I want to build the gate, the bill gate, somewhere over here. And I'll probably put one in the back. So the first of all, it's easy to get in and out of the yard in a few different ways. And maybe near the fishing spot. Now, we'll probably end up moving the gate, but just as an eyeball, let's do, so that's six tiles, well, seven tiles off, depending on how you count. There's six tiles of space over there. So just for a certain amount of, oops. Um, hmm. Can I not recolor the gate in just a wood? That's a little bit disappointing. Huh. Can't get the colors to match. Are you available in a different color? I mean, maybe the white's fine. Wrong gate for that fence, I suppose. Should I use the garden gate? I guess it's the garden gate that will match. Okay. I like having, like, different style of options. This, this, it fits, except it doesn't have the same color option, the same color palette. So I guess we're gonna have to use the garden gate. Fair enough. I kinda, I just like the little under dip of the other one. You know what I mean? So one there. And then one over there. Okay. Uh, I may move this a little bit more to place the front door. Now, outdoor planting, you don't need planter boxes. Right? You can just... Um, yeah, we can paint the fence, but this will be fine. You can just plant into the ground. We might still want planter boxes. Hey, Wolfgang, thanks for the sub! Just to sort of organize things? I don't know. We might actually just make use of, like, the train painting tool. First of all, this sort of solid green is a little too much for me. I think what I want to do is I'm going to grab the biggest brush here, but make it fairly soft and just sort of add just a little bit. You know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little Bob Rossi over here. There we go. A little bit like that. And then... We could actually put down full square ones. Uh, so let's say you know little growing areas and then a little gap you know And then maybe a little more over here. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll plant in these things. Th this paint is totally cosmetic. Doesn't It doesn't do anything. doesn't mean anything. So if we're going to do that, I'm thinking the gate moves to something like here. And then the mailbox can go there. Need to find Briar Ross to get some fertilizer. Yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> for those of you watching the uh, the Stardew series. So if we do that, and then... Where do we want to start the house? I think I kind of want room for a path around the house. And some amount of greenery. Let's say we put down a corner like this. Um, with the double grid. It's a little hard for me to see. There's three and another three. Something like that for a start. Because that gives us the ability to have a little walking path. Uh, if I grab... I might still want to be in paint mode for this. Yeah, probably I want to be in paint mode rather than this. Especially since it doesn't plop that way. Because um, I'm going to want some plants on the side. I think I actually might want to move it over a little bit more, this house. Because what I would like... If we get these plants and things is something like um, a little wild grass and then we can get some little things, can't we? Mm, pretty little ditties. Yeah. I mean, just just as a little starter. Uh, where's the hosta? There's a hosta in here, isn't there? Sort on the corner of the house and then if we grab these like that 
you know, we can get a little something going on. What we probably have to do, yeah, I was going to say, almost certainly it's poking through the house here. So if we grab this, if you hold Alt, you can sort of free move things and just move it so it doesn't clip. So I want something like that, and then I want a little path that you can walk on. And it's making me think that, uh, you know what, this should be squished over. I think I put this in the wrong place. I know we'll get the design in the house in just a second, but let's say I go to, um, let's go maximum hardness and just reset to some, there we go, some of this grass. It's whiskey and chocolate! It's whiskey and chocolate from Mr. 1360 100! Thank you very much! Uh, you got me to buy you four house flippers, Jurassic World, City Skylines, Curb. Hold on, it went away too fast. Uh, I'm getting the sense that I got you to spend a whole lot of money there, Mr. Um, Mr. Zed. And now I spent about $20 <laughs> to, co to complain about this. You're ruining my me, Martin. Love, love from your Swedish Viking. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Zed. Sorry that you're spending so much money, but uh, not sorry that you're probably going to have a lot of fun with it. So that's just a 2 by 2 What I want is I want the 3 by 3 or, yeah, the 3 by 3 but I want the softness brought down. So, yeah, I want it to be focused there. A little less soft. There you go. I think I had these aligned a little bit off before. So we've got that. And then something like that. I guess the question is how long do I hold it? I mean, this is not, you know, the most critical, except that it's it's going to set the tone a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit better. Although this Hosta's going out maybe a little too far. You've gone too far this time, Hosta. Unless I do move the house over a little bit more. Probably should. That's not what I expected would happen there. There we go, okay. There we go, so now I have, there you go, now I have enough time, enough spot to build some sort of path. I might want to use the paint tool. The nice thing about the paint tool, it is, it is, it is free. We got some bits coming in from Constable Nicholas. Constable, Constable Nicholas. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Woo! We're gonna get ourselves flagged on this one. Uh, I always enjoy Saturday streams when I can catch them. Thank you very much, Nicholas. Nicholas. I'm gonna get in so much trouble saying your name. Uh, maybe the pebbles over here. Ooh, that's, hold on. Too much, too much. Bring that down. There you go. Like, you know, something a little like that. And the same thing here. I might change the alignment on this gate. Like you, you kind of picking up what I'm what I'm going for. We might not be executing it quite yet, but I think that's sort of the start for the outside. And this will look great when we got all kinds of plants in there and things like that. So I want a fair amount of greenery. So we're gonna go just call him Nick. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, Sensha. I will just call him Nick from now on. Okay. Now I have a plan for the house layout as well. Um, so I'm gonna start doing some stuff. We're gonna we're gonna be. Um, in bigness, probably some, but not too much. I want a, I want a small house, cozy, Huga, cottage kind of thing. Um, we may not have the like the the requisite chunky sweaters and a fireplace to sit in front of, but other than that, we're gonna we're gonna try what we can. Now, I want to get the wall. I wonder if I can get away with just this, or it'll have to be three by three. I don't know. And. I'll show you, I'll get you a little bit of an idea of what I had in my head for this. I want to get a bed, and I just want a single bed. Problem is the single beds are not as comfy and effective as the large beds. I don't... Yeah, I mean, we don't want the toddler beds. And like The energy is poop. This one's really good! Oh, that's a double bed. Never mind. These are all double beds. There's a double bed here. It's not even that good, and you need to be the detective for it. So this is probably... This is the best single bed, I think. Although it's insanely expensive. We don't have the money for it. And it's not necessarily the look I want. The Seaside Loner might work, actually. Depending on...
So we got some natural wood kind of things. I don't know about that pattern. A good bed is really important. Because otherwise your sims are going to be miserable. Yeah, that's not too shabby. So I want something like this. And then what I want is um, like a divider. This one. go in wood and I want it to be whoops so something like this so it's all one room but we get a little bit of privacy for the bed I, I'm not sure I'm, I, I dig this bed well we're gonna see we're gonna see so we're starting out it's sort of like a bachelor house but the idea is at some point of course we'll we'll find someone to share our life with and then maybe we'll build a second story or something for a bedroom or just expand out in a house something like that and then what i want after this is i want a sofa for the living room uh living room is over here sofa and again i want sort of like some natural wood stuff i mean i don't want it to look like a log home or anything is the mega sofa the way to go? It's hard to tell. It might be. And I mean, it's got some wood stuff. I don't know if it'll have the wood tone we want. When we get some light in here, we'll have to see. Now, I want the sofa to be here. But it can't right now because of this wall having some placement issues. So we have to use... Oh, we also have to rename this place. So this is going to be a um, Hugo. Just an E? How do you spell it? Yui? It's a good thing I'm not going for the Dutch one, what is like Glegazug. I spelled it earlier. Yeah, just with an E. Um, Hugo Corner is what I want. And actually, just to solidify it, we're gonna add some traits over here. Uh, great soil, obviously. Gardening just seems to go really well here. That's gonna be important. But more importantly, it's homey. You see, it's homey. Got that sort of homey vibe. This will actually be better at like cooking and gardening and stuff. Makes sense. And then what's the last one? It's whiskey and chocolate from the moose. Never been able to catch a stream live. Glad I was able to catch this one. Sims is awesome. Glad to have you around the moose. Natural light? That's painting and photography. That's not really what we're looking for. Romantic, sunny aspect, maybe. Just get a boost from how beautiful and sunny it is. I mean, we could leave the last trait off. Convivial. Spacious but intimate feel makes it easier to practice charisma, comedy, and mischief. Your hearts can... I mean, convivial, that would really be into the Hygge thing, right? Because it's a lot of it's not about being solitary. It's about being cozy and spending time with friends and family. Dog hangout? Are, oh, did they just show up? Three dogs will hang out at this lot. Oh, gnomes. People want gnomes? Broken things just seem to get mended overnight. Yeah, it's that's pretty powerful. <clears throat> Is con isn't convivial still a bug? No idea. You know what? Let's get some dogs to visit us. It's gonna be cool. Okay, so we got that. Uh, so yes, I need to look up uh, Sims for cheats because I never remember the um, the command. It is. BB move objects, I th think, the one I want. So if we open up the console and say on, now, there you go. It lets you, it lets you place objects anywhere, including in illegal places. Now I'm gonna turn that off now because I mostly, I usually don't want it to let me do that. In fact, it'll end up with weird overlapping stuff half the time. So there you go, so then we can put our couch here and that's looking kind of okay. And then, well, may as well get a coffee table. Now, see, I don't want this. Lumberjack's coffee table, it's actually logs. That's not what I'm going for. Uh, the mega coffee table might be about right. I don't know if the stripe's really gonna fit into the look, but I think we'll try it. So something like that. We'll probably just put a little TV on top of that when we get there. But right now I'm just sort of blocking things out for space.